Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Today we are going to start a lecture on titration. So this is the acid based titration through which we can identify the percentage crop purity, we can identify the percentage composition of the substance, we can get the MR or AR or number of moles or mass of the respective substances. For it depends upon the experiment what we are going to find out. But the basics in all the titration experiments are same. So now we are going to start the experiment. First of all, I would like to introduce the apparatuses which will be utilized in this experiment. This is a volumetric flask in which solutions are prepared. So through this pipet, we will transfer the solution in this conical flask or titration flask. In order to fill this burette, we will use this pipet filler or safety bulb. This is pipette filler or safety bulb. Why would we use it? Otherwise we will inhale some toxic material in our mouth. We will measure 25 centimeter cube of we have to check the lower meniscus we will take the 25 centimeter cube of alkali and pour it into the conical flask Now it depends on us which indicator we are using. The color of phenolphthalein in sodium. First, of, now we will run hydrochloric acid and then we will add the indicator. We will run the hydrochloric acid. So now we will check the initial reading. Initial reading can be checked by recording its lower meniscus. Okay, this is our initial reading. So we can check this initial reading by using this. We have to record the volume by uh, after having a look on the lower meniscus. So the lower meniscus will be read. We will record the, uh, uh, the volume of the initial reading. So now we will start our next uh, step. We can use this phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein is basically gives us pink color in sodium hydroxide. So this is the pink color of phenolphthalein. So we will run the acid in it. As it will turn slight colorless, that, then that will be its end point. As color will disappear, then titration reaction will be over. So for this, we can record the final reading of this titration. We will read the lower meniscus and after recording the final volume, we will minus the initial volume from the recorded volume, then we will get the answer. So the way through which we will record the volume is this. 
Now here are some steps which are involved in the process of titration. You have to memorize all of these steps. If you will get the question to write the process of titration then you have to note it down all of these steps. So try to memorize these steps. Now the next question which you will get in your ATP exam is titration based question. So this is a very important question and you must know how to read the values of these titrations. This one, the first butyrate is basically or tells us the first reading, initial reading. This one is the initial reading and this one is our final reading. This is the butyrate final reading. This is the final reading. And what about this? This one is the initial reading. So at the initial reading, if we will talk about the titration, this is the first titration, second titration results and third titration results. So what we will do, we have to complete this table which is given in the exam. First of all, titration number 1, 2 and this one is the third titration. It is written in the question. So next what we will do, we have to write the final burette reading. So this one is the final burette reading. This one is also the final burette reading and this one is also the final burette reading. In the first row, we will write the answers of the final burette reading. So we will calculate the value, write, uh, read the value like this, 29.1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So first reading is 29.5, 29.5. Okay, now come towards the second value of uh, the titration. 28, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So it ends up at 28.8. 28.8. Okay. Now this final reading of third titration is 39.9. Okay. Here I will write 39.9. So next Initial reading. So this one is our initial reading. I stands for initial reading. So you must know the initial reading. What is the initial reading? 8.9. Second initial reading is 7.9. Third reading is you can check 19. 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 19.5. So these are the results of uh, uh, final reading, final burette reading. These are actually the operators of burette. So this is the burette reading. So if we will talk about this, so this is the burette. Burette, okay. Now, final, in, after writing final and initial uh, reading, we have to get the volume of hydrochloric acid. We will minus these values and get the answer that as 20.6. Here is the 20.9 and 20.4. So, best titration results always uh, have the difference about 0 0.2. So the closest difference between 20.6 and 20.4 is the difference of 0.2. So we can tick these two best results. So our best results are 20.6 and 20.4. So uh, what, what we will do about this? How we will get using these results the average volume of hydrochloric acid. So after reading these uh, uh, burette readings, after noting, uh, recording these burette readings, we will calculate the average volume of hydrochloric acid. So how we will get the average volume of hydrochloric acid? 20.6 plus 20.4. So we will divide it by 2. So answer which we will get is the 20.5 centimeter cube. So this is the way through which you people have to fill the table after reading the volume of the solution of volume of the acid or base whatever given in the burette we have to calculate so the answer after getting the average volume is 20.5 centimeter cube so this is the way through which you will get the burette readings and you have to record the readings in this table 
and you will get the difference between these volumes and get the best results to get the average volume of hydrochloric acid is used. So I hope so that you people have learned it very well. Practice these titration based questions. Consistency is the key of success. Signing off, Ms. Aisha Manzoor.